Welcome to Be For You, Talk of Town, New York. I'm in front of the Tulsi restaurant, and today is going to be the kickoff for Raleigh's Food Festival, and we're here to cover it. Check it out. I'm here with Varley Singh, founder and creator of the Food Festival, uh, the Varley Food Festival. Um, just want to ask you, what's today's event about? Uh, this year's uh, the this year the Varley Food Festival is uh, about helping the next generation appreciate Indian cuisine. Food is an important part of the culture, and I hope this event provides an easy way for the parents to introduce to the children to uh, to our rich culture and customs. And how how are you? How is today's event very different from the other ones that we had previously? Uh, we are hosting this uh, Worldly Kids Food Festival, uh, the first Worldly Kids Food Festival on April 14th next year. We are expecting over 1,000 attendees and uh, there will be many cooking demos by celebrity chef for children. There will be also over 30 Indian restaurants providing food tasting for the adults. And we are hosting the first junior cook-off where each child will be uh, assisting a, a celebrity chef in the cook-off. And uh, I hope that we'll be able to increase awareness of Indian cuisine among the young generation. It's very important. Thank you so much, Varley Singh. Hi, I'm here with Ishan, um, who is a contestant for the food, Varley Food Festival. It's coming up. Um, Ishan, can you tell me a little about yourself? Um, my name is Ishan Jagiasi. I am 12 year old. I'm 12 years old. I like to play sports, Pokemon, and academics are one of my priorities. Great. So, um, are you excited about the upcoming event? Yeah, I'm really excited. So, um, do you like to cook? Um, I, I honestly, I'm new. I'm new to this cooking thing. I really wanted to get into it because of the fact that you need to stay healthy in order, in order to have a good life. Well, that's always great to hear from your age. I play, I play a lot of sports, and I need to stay fit because that's what I want my future to be. Only kids will like you more often. Um, could you tell me about your favorite dish to eat? Indian dish, of course, or South Asian. Um, I have many, I have many favorite dishes, but most of my Indian favorite dishes revolve around the food pyramid, and the food pyramid includes da dairy foods, meat, grains, and vegetables and fruits. Yeah. Is that one specific Indian meal you like that you want your mommy to cook? There are honestly many Indian foods that I like that include all of these. Okay, so there's not one specific one. Okay, well, that's a great answer. <laughs> um, so what do you do in your free time? Um, in my free time, I play I play a lot of sports with my friends. Like I said, I play Pokemon. I heard you're a Pokemon owner. Yeah, I actually won three state championships in the east side. And that's all while you're eating healthy, too. <laughs> well, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. So I'm here with the award-winning chef Charles. So what did you do today, Charles? Hi, how are you? Um, I'm good. Um, I'm like um, working with the Varley Kids Festival um, to, you know, really tie in uh, my culinary skills and like bring it to the children really and work with kids and because they're like our future and, you know, it's really important that we give them attention and really bring them into the concept of cooking uh, and how the importance of cooking at home. Exactly. And I'm actually more a personal chef and a caterer, so I really hone in on you know cooking at home and you know using wholesome ingredients and all that so it's really important for me to be involved in something. That's what I noticed you mix a lot of cultural cultural foods together and I want to know what what inspires you to do that and what kind of cultures do you like to mix the most? Yeah so my you know my background is South Asian I love so my roots so my food always will have that South Asian element coming through but I feel like why limit yourself? You know, the world is full of such interesting flavors and ingredients. And I also have a very global um, background because my parents were traveling around when we were kids. So I lived in different parts of Europe, Africa, South America. So I've been, you know, directly exposed to all those flavors. So I was like always wanting to bring in those flavors into South Asian cooking and like show how beautifully things blend together, you know? I'm here with the owner of the restaurant, of Tusi Restaurant, Mr. VJ Rao. So we you here today. Hey, hi everybody. Um, actually, I um, hosted uh, this event for uh, Worley. Uh, she's doing a fantastic event, uh, uh, which is uh, kids doing this uh, competition and it's very unique and I did give her uh, congratulations for this and uh, 
very good thoughtful things she did and uh, I'm glad that uh, I'm hosting this. Great, so can you tell me what's your significant best seller dish that everyone comes back here for? Lamb chops. <laughs> Lamb chops. You can see I didn't even stop. Um, <laughs> that's that. e exactly, exactly. And that's our signature dish. Our uh, celebrity chefs, Mr. Hemant Mathur and Mr. Danduram, they are just hands down the best lamb chop creators in entire the world. So what makes those lamb chops so good? Do you know? It's their secret. <laughs> so um, what sets you apart from other restaurants, other Indian restaurants? Do you have a certain fusion that you do here? It's kind of yes. Uh, uh, if you look the feel of the restaurant also, just like the food and the ambiance, both are Indian, yet it's Western, American, and the whole cultural, you know, fusion. So what type of um, guests do you get? Do you get like um, a diverse amount of people or is it um, mostly Indian? I mean, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Very good. And just like the food and the decor, our guests are also multicultural. Matter of fact, when we get celebrity guests, we have Debbie Gibson, our guest. And matter of fact, Chris Tucker, actor, is our regular guest. How um, the, the food here is basically so welcoming to people. Like... Uh, the food, the way it's being presented, uh, it's being prepared, uh, it's being very carefully created by our chefs and uh, our whole staff, the way it's being served and being uh, pompous to the, our guests and that's what makes a difference. Do you think that Indian food is becoming more and more popular in New York City? Oh, absolutely yes, absolutely. Not only York, New York City, New York City is already done. Everybody loves food and once you go and especially you come to our restaurant, you see, you will see, you cannot say that, oh, this particular group of ethnic group is coming here, you know. You will see every kind of people. Right. That's what New York is. Yeah, it's about diverse. But what I'm thinking is now it's time, between now and next 10 years, you're going to see restaurants coming and all increase of different ethnic group in all over, you know, America. So you think it's going to be spreading to the West Coast? Okay, that's great. And my next start is, you know, our neighboring state, New Jersey. That's where I'm launching another venture uh, in Secaucus, New Jersey. And uh, it's a very interesting theme. It's the same name? Tulsi Restaurant? No, it's going to be a different name. Uh, Tulsi, Tulsi is uh, very up in the line where I don't want to have too many Tulsis. Tulsi is going to be only three places, New York, London, Mumbai, if it happens. Is it going to be the same type of restaurant? It will be the same type, but a little different. It will be a little more uh, target toward the younger audience and it will have the uh, flavor of, uh, I hate to call it Bollywood because it's not Bollywood, it's not uh, Bollywood, it's our Indian movie industry. And it will have a theme of uh, Indian actors and stuff like that. Okay, that's interesting. So can you tell me a little bit more about your involvement with the Varley Food Festival that's coming up soon for the, for the kids? Yeah, I'll be sponsoring the event and uh, we'll have our stall and uh, I'll be, uh, our chef is also helping one of the kids who will be doing the competition. Hi, what's your name? Naisha. How old are you? Seven. So do you like to cook? Yes. What's your favorite dish to cook with mommy? Um, red beans and rice and yeah. Are you excited about the cook-off? Yes, I am. Do, do, what do you look forward to? Cooking. <laughs> so, what do you like doing in your free time? Mm -hmm. Playing. What do you play with? Balls. Play with balls. Um, what do you like to do in school? What's your favorite subject? Um, writing. Writing? Oh, so you might be a writer one day, huh? <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much. <laughs> What's your name? Dia. How old are you? Seven years old. And what is your favorite food? Chicken tikka masala naan. What do you like to cook with mommy? Make roti. Sorry? Roll roti. Roll roti? Oh wow, you must be really good in the kitchen, huh? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>
I'm here with Numan from Alakazai Tea. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about your tea company? Uh, we're based out of Dubai. Uh, we manufacture salon tea. Most of our tea are premium tea. Uh, mostly come out of salon. And we have some from India, also some. Uh, we've been in the U.S. for about a year. And uh, doing our best to provide to, to the Indian community. So what's that you apart from other tea companies? We have premium tea, the finest selection from around the world, and our packaging and everything is top of the line. Uh, we all gr we're a green company, and um, that's about it. Hi, I'm here with the owners of Bukhara Restaurant, Vicky and Raja. Um, what brings you here today? Uh, well, this is uh, the kickoff for the Wali for the kids, and we want to inspire the kids and uh, to make sure to so they can learn the Indian food and. The future is the kids. Right. Very important. Can you tell me about the best seller in your current restaurant, Bukhara Grill? Best seller in terms of what? Um, well, the, the plate that everyone's coming back for, that they have to have when they go there. We specialize in uh, kebabs, the grill, the barbecue stuff. And uh, most of the cooking we do is uh, in the clay oven, tandoor cooking with charcoal fire. So that is our big say. And we have some curries also in the menu, but uh, our kebabs are, we are known for. Yeah, yeah. So what sets you apart from other restaurants? Uh, well, uh, basically Bukhara means authenticity. We are the most authentic uh, restaurant which gives them food. Like what you eat in India, we serve you here in New York City. That's the most authenticity we can talk about. So there's no fusion involved? Uh, not at all, not at all. It's totally, totally authentic Indian food. That's great to have. I'll add to that, uh, why Indian? I'll tell you how Indian it is. We serve dal, which is a black lentil, which is a common dal bukhara. We we serve it with white butter on top. Sarsoka sag, which is mustard greens. We serve it with white butter, which is authentic North Indian style of serving it. Hi, I'm here with Prasad, owner of many restaurants, including the Thali restaurant. Um, hi, how are you? Good. How are you, Irene? Great. Tell us, what brings you here today to the Barley Food Festival for kids? Well, it's a great, uh, Worldly has always done an amazing job with, uh, you know, chefs and restaurants throughout the country, especially the tri-state area. What brings me today? Uh, we are looking at the contestants, we are looking at the chefs, uh, there are a lot of great chefs around. I hear you're going to be the judge. I probably am one of the judge. I, I've, I'm uh, looking forward to judge the kids. I'm also judging the chefs that day, I believe, so it'll be fun, you know, one chef judging the other chef. That's amazing. Um, so tell us about your restaurants. I see that you have many restaurants. I have six locations right now. Uh, they are uh, four of them are Indian and two of them are Indian with the Mexican flair or Mexican with Indian flair. Uh, the Indian restaurants are called Thali, which is Thali.com. Uh, we have restaurants in New Haven. We have restaurants in New Canaan, Westport and Ridgefield. And the Mexican restaurants are also in New Haven and Westport, Connecticut. I'm Sonia. How old are you? I'm seven years old. So, do you like cooking? Yes. What's your favorite meal to cook with your mommy? Uh, cake. Cake? What kind of cake? Uh, I'm not really sure. We bake different kind of cake. Okay, so you like baking, huh? Sonia, um, are you looking forward to the cook-off? Yeah. Do you like to cook? So, do you know what you want to cook yet? No, they didn't tell us yet. Wow. So, how'd you hear about it? Oh, my mom. Mom? <laughs> well, thank you so much, Sonia. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with one of the contestants. His name is... Vrishan Khanna. And how old are you? She's six years old. <laughs> but little shy. But in the house, he is a big brat. So, it happens. But still, it's a great uh, experience for him that he has come all the way from Ohio uh, to be here in New York. He's loving this place. He was very sleepy, but still he said no. He was very excited too, so that he can make it up. Though we are a little late, but thanks to Worley and thanks to uh, Juhi and thanks to all the team over here to accommodate us. Thank you so much. Hey, what's your name? Rishan Khanna. How old are you? Six years old. What's your favorite food? Dumplings. <laughs> uh, what do you like doing in your free time? What do you like doing? Just playing on the computer. Do you like playing computer games? What's your favorite computer game? <laughs> Say whatever. 
whatever you like. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Sunil, the general manager of Dulce Restaurant. Um, can you tell me, um, what is the main attract? Why is this such a main attraction for people to come here to eat Indian food? Actually, it is. Uh, I would say it's a complete package. You know, it's Chef Heyman's uh, eclectic food. You know, it's distinct. I would say not like other rich curries and all this stuff. It's uh, subtle colors, flavors, the presentation. It's, it's completely distinct. It's different. Very elegant. You know, and. Uh, I have a belief uh, now he's globally known, you know, we get calls from Australia, Europe, not only India, even uh, US. So he has already set his foot, you know, the way the food is done. So it's a different style, you know, it's seriously gourmet. The colors, the uh, flavors and the presentation is very, very subtle and very different, I would say, than many other Indian restaurants. It also has a fusion as well. He was it does have a fusion and it's the way he mixes flavors and all this stuff and the clientele that we get it's just not i mean people are coming in from europe overseas and local also and uh, indians non-indians and everyone's appreciating the way the place is run the way it is designed uh, i would say you know like very warm romantic cozy friendly service a very friendly service and uh, just trying to make it happen and uh, we're doing a pretty good show and uh, I believe the success belongs to the staff you know it's a teamwork it's the teamwork and the success belongs to the whole team the way we put in efforts and all the stuff uh, front of the house and back of the house and uh, we're heading for we have a vision you know he's spreading his wings uh, the next project is coming up in Jersey as well so uh, yes <laughs> yes precisely so uh, looking forward to that, you know, uh, on the horizon we're seeing uh, success and he's spreading his wings. So I'm very happy about that and excited about that. And it's totally different when you work with the best, you feel good about it, you know, very important, you know. So I'm happy that, yeah, exactly, you know, guests come in, best advertisement I would say is uh, word of mouth, you know, um, word of mouth. You know, the advertisement, you know, so people come in and then they spread word and all this stuff. So it, it does help, you know, in building a business. So it's basically, you know, friendly service, great food, ambiance. So it's a whole package, I would say, complete package. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Abhishek, one of the sponsors for the Varley Food Festival. What brings you here today? Uh, we're basically, uh, the event is a perfect fit for us. My company has just launched a mobile application. It's called MyPref and it basically helps you find Indian food around you. So, so since it's an Indian food festival, we saw it as a perfect fit for us. So what do you look forward to? Uh, we look forward to meeting a lot of people, getting their feedback on the application, talking to a lot of restauranters and what they feel about the application as a product and just getting a basic feel of what's happening. So um, I'm sure you love Indian cuisine. What's your favorite? I prefer paneer tikka masala. I think that's my favorite. Masala? Yeah. And, and do you cook? I don't cook. Oh, okay. You're just going to watch people cook. <laughs> just going to watch people okay, cook. Okay, well, thank you so much. <laughs>